What is up, everybody? Jace here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspies 15 box NBA mixer, 5 21 22 optic choice boxes, and 10 21 22 prism mega boxes. And this is pick your team number four. Now, I know some people are probably saying, Why the hell are we doing number four? Why not number three yet? Well, number three is in a filler. The last X amount of teams didn't sell a few days ago, so we put them in a filler, and all of a sudden, people started buying these straight up and sold this one out first. So, again, same break. It's just that one's in a filler, guys. And we're giving away two Super Bowl Superb Owl Squares away in this break at the end. So once we get done with this, we'll randomize the list of names. Top two get into the squares. And again, all card chip, guys. So Terry, got last spot mojo. Rockets. Alright, so I got 10 here. Prism Mega Boxes. We'll be doing these first. And then we'll uh, get to the rest. Also, too, guys, how about tra NBA trade deadline, guys? Some people disappointed with some of their team's trades. Some people are happy. My Thunder made a little trade today. They uh, traded for Gordon Hayward. I know he's been injured, really, but I think he's set to come back very soon. And they traded him without trading any of their future draft picks. Like, they don't have, like, 30 of them to give away. I will say, though, man, I hope Trey Mann, who got traded to the Charlotte Hornets, balls out over there. I think Trey Mann's a baller. He was our first-round pick a couple years back. But, you know, just really never found no playing time with SGA. Uh, you know, obviously just taking over, really. So, you know, I hope he gets the ball out over there and gets to prove how good he really is. And what was crazy about this Thunders trade that was hilarious to me was that, you know, they, they didn't... They didn't Give away any future draft picks. Like, they don't have any to give away. They have a gazillion. But what was crazy is that they pick up... They, they traded... They picked up David Bertrand's, uh, you know, contract uh, for trading up two spots in the draft to draft case on Wallace. And they were able to dump his contract to the Charlotte Hornets, like I said, without having to give up any draft picks. Sam Presti's like the Howie Roseman of, of, of basketball. Dude just knows how to just finesse these trades and just draft future superstars. But yeah, I don't think the Lakers made any trades, but I think, honestly, I don't think they needed to, man. I mean, for what they wanted, they had to dish out a little bit more. I think every single trade suitor was saying, if you want us to trade our player, you got to give a Boston Reeves. You know, so it's like... The Lakers aren't ready to give up Boston Reeves yet, you know, because honestly, he could be their core piece in the future, especially if LeBron moves on and, you know, they blow everything up soon, eventually. Um, so, like, I, I think the Lakers are like, yeah, we're okay with what we got. I mean, mainly the core team that, that got them to the Western Conference Finals is still there, you know, so... I think they'll pick up some players. They'll just wait for the buyout season. So, like, I think, I think Morris is going to get bought out. From his contract, um, you know, so they, they might be able to pick someone up like that if they want. You know, there's, there's going to be a lot of players uh, in the buyouts to to pick up. So that's kind of the, I think, what the Lakers are probably just waiting for. I know. I was, uh, I have a big, I have a customer, I have a, I'm in a group chat with a couple of customers from Instagram, Mike, and one of the customers in there is, like, the biggest Detroit sports fan. And he invested so much in Killian Hayes. And still to this day was buying Killian Hayes. And when that news dropped, it was kind of hard, 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 hard to even want to tell him that Killian Hayes got released. Not even traded, released. So, not good times for him. And yeah, Terry, you should, man. I'm a bit Thunder fan too. It's okay. I live in LA and I don't root for the Lakers. <laughs> Thunder an exciting team, man, honestly. Um, it's kind of like 
kind of reliving a little bit of history here with like Durant, Westbrook, Ibaka, Harden. Thunder are a really, really young team, and you know they got a few years before they got to pay anybody. And they already locked up SGA. They locked up, you know, Lou Dort. They don't have to pay Jay Will or Chet any real big money for another three, four years. You know? Uh, so, they're they're in great shape. They're also going to have, like, $90 million in cap space next year as well. So, I don't know, man. They're, I think they'll be in the finals by, like, next season or the year after that. My goal was for them this year was to... Make the playoffs, but win one series. Last year, I wanted them to make the playoffs, and they made the play-in, you know, and, and uh, you know, like I said, they made the play-in, didn't make the playoffs, but they made the play-in. But this year, my, my expectation with them was to make the playoffs and win a playoff series. Now, I'm born and raised here in L.A., Duncan. I don't really have too much heat, hate for the Lakers. It's just that when I was a kid, my, my sister, my older sister... It was very annoying and, and just loved the Lakers. Loved Kobe Bryant in general. Very obnoxious. So when I started getting of age a little bit, I didn't want to root for the Lakers. So I just rooted for a team that uh, had very similar colors to like the, the, the Eagles, really. So I, I, was a, I was a Sonics fan. I just liked the Sonics for their colors. More like Oregon, too, with that green and yellow. But obviously, once the Sonics moved to Oklahoma City, I just followed them. And he's been a fan ever since. So that's why I was telling people the other day, I'm going to have mixed emotions if, like, if they bring back the Seattle Sonics. Because, I mean, honestly, I'm very invested into the Thunder. And I feel like I'd be cheating if I'd go back to, like, this the Seattle uh, Sonics. But, uh, yeah, I liked them more, like, when, like, Ray Allen was there. Right before the Kevin Durant trade, like, 2003-04 area. Alright. So there's a little Jalen Green instant impact. Obi Tobin. So these are just pinks. Everything ships, but I don't think we'll be sleeving up top loading every one of these pinks. But obviously, if we see anything pretty massive, we will. There's a giddy there. There's Baisley. I loved him a lot too, man. He never worked out. Kelvin Johnson. Steph. And we got a Terry on Prince. Davion Mitchell. I don't think it's going to go in there. What's that, Mike? Said what? There's a uh, Josh Giddy, pink eyes, Benton. Then we got a Chris Duarte green. Has he actually been playing well? He's a pro duck too. Oh, sorry. Sean Kim's a little bit before my time. I didn't even realize that was, like, his nickname. No, I, I just want for them for the colors, to be honest. They were so close to Oregon colors and green eagles that I was like, eh, it'd be cool to root for all green teams. Not to say that the Sonics were, like, super, super great anyways by the time, but... But it was fun, though. I mean, you know, when they moved to OKC, really, I mean, you know, you had a second-year Durant, first-year Westbrook, then you got Harden and Ibaka, you know, all those guys, and then all of a sudden, you know, you start getting a little hype, making the playoffs, you know, losing early, but, you know, basically getting better and better every single year, and then all of a sudden you go to the finals, and 
You're up against LeBron James in the Heat, and you win Game One, and you're just like, wow, we're we're taking this series, bro. We're taking this series. And then LeBron and the Heat just win four straight after Game One, and then it's over. <laughs> and uh, you know, you fight to get back to there in 2016. You know, you you're up three one against the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, and then you end up losing in Game Seven, and then Durant joins the enemy, and it's over. I mean, Thunder went to the playoffs a little. Look, I think another year or two with Westbrook alone, but but uh, yeah, that was a little. T- I I still have mixed emotions about Kevin Durant. Honestly, he it really hurt, man. Honestly, I was really, really man. That really hurt when he decided to just go back. When he decided to basically join the team that beat him, uh, that hurt so much, dude. So I like secretly root for him, but I, I don't know. I still have mixed emotions with him. The one I always love and respect is Westbrook. He he gets a pass wherever he goes. That dude is still, like I said, goes all out, 110% every single game. Brings that energy. And like I said, he always love him. LeBron Silver. True Holiday. I don't even remember if we can even get auto- Can we get autographs in this mega? I assume we can. Wendell Carter. Also today, guys, here in L.A., uh, Kobe Bryant statue on Reeling Night today before the uh, before the uh, Nuggets game here. Maybe a very, very bittersweet moment. Pretty emotional probably as well, right? I mean, I'm sure they would have done this a long time ago, right after the passing. But I assume they wanted to kind of make it special with the whole 2-8-24 type of deal, you know, to honor... Kobe and of course probably his daughter as well. Alright, last little box here and then we'll rip the next five. Here it is. Whoa, we got an autograph? Brandon Boston Jr., BB. <laughs> Could have been BBJ, I guess. Clip show. Going to Kev. Bones Island. I think Old Depot also got cut or bought out as well. SG8. former players are there. Um, I believe so. I mean, at least I want to say Megas. Retail. I guess it's all retail, right? As long as it's not a hobby box from Blasters. 
some megas to uh, complete set and stuff. These, of course, are our choice hobby, so these ones are obviously going to be a lot better. Yeah, for sure. This, this, yeah, this isn't, like, yeah. The, I mean, this is some fun stuff, don't get me wrong. If you, I mean, I'm sure if you get the right colors, pink ice and stuff like that of these players, and they sell pretty decent, I'd assume, still. But, yeah, you're looking probably to try to hit the jackpot in those bigger ones with, like, optic choice. Here, you're just looking for the pink ice and then occasionally, right, I mean, maybe get a silver, maybe an autograph. There really isn't any case hits in Prism, to be honest. Uh, Prism basketball has like no case hits like football does. You're just you're just looking for like the best colors, the best players, and autos and shit like that, right? I mean, footballs uh, they don't really have case hits in this. The ones where they have case hits, if anything, is like mosaic. They'll have like the stained glass, if anything, and then um, um, I don't even think optic has case hits. I feel like there's less case hits in basketball, like optic and and Prism. Than like football and stuff like that, cause like football has like the downtowns right and stuff like that. Man, can that dude even walk still? No, that's what I'm saying, man. Basketball is, is so different from, like, football, to be honest. There's, like, nothing. Uh, kabooms are actually in basketball. Kabooms are in, um, in, uh, Crown Royale for basketball. And then Absolute, I think, still has the glass ones, yeah. But Kabooms are in Kabooms in basketball are in uh, Crown Royale. Eric, I have no clue. <laughs> Just watch out for Instagram post, I guess. There is case hits in in one in one basketball. That one actually has uh, the downtowns. One in one basketball has downtowns. Kabooms are in Crown Royale for basketball, and then I think Gl Mosaic has the glass stained glass. No, I, I don't really do much Instagram anymore, Mike. Um, before, when we didn't have Fanatics Live, I would do YouTube and Instagram. But now, with Fanatics Live, I just do YouTube and Fanatics Live throughout my week. Instagram, I'll do it like on a day like today if like 
we're super dead and then I'll like fire it up if anything, but because no one's live, but I don't, yeah, I don't really do too much Instagram anymore. Hallie. Domingo. Bain. Moises Moody. an impact silver. Amari Stoudemire. Uspan Garuba. Ooh, nice giddy silver. Tatum USA. I haven't seen one of those. Ron James Silver. Sean Green. Colin Sexton, Marcus Zagrowski, Miles Bridges. There's Trey Mann, guys. Watch out for him. If he gets the opportunity to play in Charlotte, like I think he will, he's a baller, man. Evan Mobley. Quinn Grimes. Silver, Paul George, Jared Butler, Harrison Barnes. All right. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, well let's get to the real real good stuff. Which would be the optic choice. Here we go. So you look for one autograph in every box, one numbered card, and then a couple of uh, choice parallels. There we go. Alright, we got Jared Butler. And then for the magic. Nice, Franz Wagner. Optigraphs, that's a good start. Magic going to Tristan. And we got a little beef stew. Oh, backwards. Theo Maladon for my Thunder. That should be out of 88. Then we got James Bulk Knight to Theo Maladon to 88. And Brandon Boston Jr. Ooh, it looks like we got a black gold coming up at some point. For the Knicks. Uh, Jericho Sims. For the Knicks. Tristan with that one. And we got a black gold coming up. And Victor Oladipo. That should be number to eight. Four out of eight for the Miami Heat. Going to Tristan. And we got Quentin Grimes for the Knicks. And another Franz Wagner. And that James Harden that is going to go to the Nets. Is that jersey number Old Depot? Oh, yeah, number four. See where he gets wind up. You see where he winds up. I believe he got released. Bought out or cut. One of those ones. I know he recently just got traded too. Alright, next box, guys. Lulu Silver. And it's a redemption. Spencer Dinwiddie. And we got a Jalen Brown, number to 88. And how about a Cade Cunningham for the Pistons? And then a Joe Westcamp. I feel like Scotty Barnes was always a redemption, maybe, right? Dude never wanted to sign anything. Let's see what we got here. Optigraph's choice. Numero 99. Wow, no, it's Kate Cunningham, though. Wow. And you still got two months before it expires as well. Actually, a month now, to be honest. We're already in February, right? Nice. Kate Cunningham.
All right, here we go. Charles Bassey for Philly. Jeremy Smith. And then we got Evan Mobley. Red green. With a oh, little teaser, bro. What's going on here? David Johnson. That's going to be numbered for the Raptors, too. Ugh. 7 out of 88. Nemus Queda. And then, wow, what another teaser, Christopher Johnson. Or uh, Josh Christopher, sorry, for the Rockets. Jesus. Alright, last box here, guys. Alright, we got a rated rookie autograph. Cam Thomas. For the Brooklyn Nets. And look at another freaking teaser. It's like a dragon scale, I believe, too. God damn it. Cam Thomas. I think he just got traded, too, didn't he? That's Bobby. Last ball mojo there, too. Robert Covington. To 88 and Moises Moody. All right, there you go, guys. That was the break. Got some pretty nice stuff. I mean, obviously for some teams, not the best, but like I said, we got a lot of teasers like the Rockets and with and the uh, uh, Raptors. But Cam Thomas, we did get a Cade Cunningham redemption. Cade there. We got the black gold. Obviously, could have been better for a lot of people, guys. But again, we still got the Super Bowl squares, guys. Uh, so let's do that really quick and give away those stuff there. All right, let's click dice roll here, guys. Roll it. Two and a four, six times, six times. Here we go, top two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times, six, six. Kev. And Oliver! Whoa, my God! What is going on there? Two and four, six times. Superb Owl Squares to both of you. Alright, where did I put... Actually, sorry, I was like, where did I put that? But it's over here. Uh, what was this? Mixer number four? All right, well, again, more times to win some more uh, squares with mixture number three. Of course, Mosaic Choice one. And then, of course, if you get into the memorabilia mixer or the straight-up card mixer, you're guaranteed one. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.